I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. In a year that has been so improbable, the impossible has happened. We'll see you tomorrow night. Touch them all, Joe. You'll never hit a bigger home run in your life. The throw to the plate will be late. The Americans are going to play for the American League Championship. A liner. Oh, Bobby scores. MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Colorado Rockies and the Brewers.
Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. I'm joined by Dan Plezak. And Dan, as we get things going this season, it's pitching that has to be key if this team's going to have success. Well, you know, I always think pitching and defense are keys to success in the long run. As we take a look at their arms, I see a lot of reason for optimism. A lot can happen over the course of the season, but if these guys stay healthy and pitch to their abilities, they should be in pretty good shape. The games count starting now. Opening day on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your 2017 Milwaukee Brewers. Quickly now, we'll look at the two men who are entrusted with the starting pitching assignment here to begin the new year. And a chance now to check out the visiting Colorado Rockies. Harold, what's their focus as they go for their first win? Well, Matt, facing a sinker baller, you got to think about get the ball up. What happens with the guy that throws a sinker? When you get it up, it straightens out. But when he's got that ball that starts about thigh high and starts to bite down on you, that's going to end up in the dirt. You're probably not going to be able to do anything with it. You go to the plate with the mindset of get that ball up. You set your focus on making bring that to the thigh high or up, and you got a chance to hit it when it straightens out. All right, here's how the Brewers line up defensively, brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking at Orlando Arcia. You talk about the complete package at shortstop. This kid can hit, turn a fastball around with the best of them, but man, does he have range and make plays. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. And we are ready for some Lead daytime baseball. For Colorado, second baseman, number nine. And the first pitch of the ball game is taken for a called strike one, and a new season of baseball is underway. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ball one. Tough pitch to lay off. The slider stays high for ball one. Here's the one and one pitch. Sharp slider that time. Just missed inside. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Line towards center field. Base hit. And that's their first of the new campaign. In is Gerardo Parra. The left fielder, number eight, Gerardo Parra.
first pitch of the at bat. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. And this is taken out there by Braun for the first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Batting third. Center so fielder. coming to the plate, Charlie, Charlie Blackman. Blackman. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. First pitch on its way. Swing and a ball sliced fouled into the seats down the left field line. Runners on first with one down. Sinker and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. Well, Ferg really does call a solid game back there. He does reward a pitcher for good location at times, but his reviews tend to be very good most of the time. And the slider gets him swinging to gone. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. So striding forward now, Nolan Arenado. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Here comes the first pitch. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. From the stretch. Grounded to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. And now the Brewers will get their first cuts. No score. And with that, time to take a glance at the starting nine for these Brewers. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Well, the key to this game, Matt, is going to be the contributions throughout the whole entire lineup. You cannot rely on that key guy on the team, the big star. No, everybody's got to contribute. If they do that, they'll win this game. John Gray is on the mound for the season opener on the road in this one. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, Matt, this guy's not going to blow you away. He's a consistent major league pitcher. Look, his ERA last year a little bit over four, but he takes the baseball. And he's the guy that's going to take his lump, but he's going to keep coming back at you. And I think we'll probably see that kind of performance today. Time now for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Rockies. And yes, they move players all over the field. They love to shift heavily into the analytics and really apply it to their club. You'll see guys moving all over the field today. Here's Ryan Braun now. It lead things off here in the box. Bottom half Leading of the first. The left fielder, Ryan Braun. Lays off 1 and 0. Individual matchup numbers against John Gray. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Here comes the 1-0. A fastball that just misses inside. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously...
They do a lot of damage with it. Hard hit ball to second. Stopped on the slide by LeMahieu. He is out. Wow, what a great show of range there. This ball looked like it might get through up the middle, but check out the sliding stop, and that's going to take him right into a good throwing position where he's able to get enough on the throw to get him out at first. Into the box now, Hernan Perez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Well, Matt, as advertised, he's broke out with a good fastball. He likes to pitch off the fastball, but this was in the mid-90s. We'll see him be aggressive most of this game with that fastball. The windup and the 0-1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1-1. One one. Bases are empty, one man out. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. And the pitch. Swing and a liner. But a foul ball. And he lays off, so it's full now. Three and two. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Fastball. Strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Batting third. Third base. Into the box, Travis. Travis Shaw. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. First offering on its way. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. He swung so hard, I don't know how he stayed on his feet or kept his helmet on. I'm surprised he didn't fall down. He swung so hard. What a big swing. 0 oh, and 1 count, and the pitch. Favorable call in there for a strike. Well, now's when he gets nasty. He's 0-2, and, and you know he's got five pitches in his arsenal to put him away. It's almost impossible for the hitter to sit on anything.
Ready with the 0-2. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. Still no score. Here's Mark Reynolds. His batter pitcher matchup numbers against Jimmy Nelson. One for four. Mark and he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. A swing and a miss at a ball down. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. You got one of those swings that goes over the top, you're never going to hit him. So he got him swinging. Mark Reynolds becomes the, the first right out of the inning. Five, Carlos Gonzalez. Here's cargo Carlos Gonzalez as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. That's in there and he's deep in the hole now 0 and 2. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat but you really never want to put yourself in 0 2 count if you could do anything about it. Heavy inside, sinker just one. stayed inside. Well, now it's a one-two count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now let's see if he puts him away with it. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fouled back. Here's another one, two. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Shaw is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Batting seven, shortstop, Trevor Story. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Couldn't wait back. A swing and a miss. No score here as we play inning number two. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. And now a pitch on the way. But a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Looped under that one with that swing, which tells me he was probably anticipating it being a sinker. Here's the one and two delivery. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Braun sprinting after it. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Three up, three down for Colorado. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Riding in, number seven. This will be his Leading first trip the to the plate in this one. First baseman, number seven. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Big tilt on the slider gets a swing and a miss. Well, there's no doubt what he was thinking on those first two swings, big power swings. Now he's got to dial it back a little bit and try to put that ball in play. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. 
lays oh, off that time, and it's one and two. Okay, so now is where I think you pull the string, throw the El Cambio up there. Hasn't seen it yet, and I think he's set up for it right here. Sharp ground ball to third. That's a hit, the first of the new campaign for the Brewers. That was really special. You know, he was down the count, and he just said, I got a battle. He battled it through and got rewarded with the base hit the other way. Domingo Santana. Now at the plate, Domingo Santana, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. A runner at first with no outs here. And this one's in the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. Ready on one and two. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Digging in now, Stephen Vogt. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. From the stretch. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Good job of making him chase that pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking for the double play ball. Here's the 0 1. Slider up that he gets a call on. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Normally not a good pitching plan to throw the same hitter the same pitch three times in a row. But both of those sliders back to back were so good. I might just go ahead and try to throw another one. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch seven. out. Stephen Vogt becomes out number two this inning. Broxton. And that'll bring in the speedy Keon Broxton. Individual matchup numbers against John Gray. Hitless in three at bats. First pitch of the at bat. Here's a drive out toward left center field. They're going to try to wave that runner around third. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there safely on second and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Next to bat Orlando Arcia as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. The 0-1 delivery hit on the ground toward the left. Played on the backhand. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. Well, that's playing within his game right there. The speedster gets a little infield single, and now he's on to do damage. Stepping in now, Jimmy Nelson. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Runners at the corners, two men out. Throw over to first, just keeping him close. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And there's ball one.
Swung on and missed. One and two now. I think he just subscribed to the swing hard in case you hit it philosophy of hitting. As a pitcher, why not? Better than standing up there like you've never held a bat before. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a big strike out there. They'll leave a couple of runners on base, and after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. Leading His batter Rocky. pitcher matchup catcher. numbers against Jimmy Nelson. Jonathan One Lucroy. for three. In there, 0-1. Well, that was unexpected. You're looking for the sinker down. He throws a fastball up. Now he's just changed the game on you. He's forcing you to look somewhere else. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. Well, he doubled up on that slider, so that tells me he's really feeling it at this point in the game. Good chance we'll see a heavy dose of that slider as this start continues. The windup and the 0-2 pitch down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Ready with another 0 2. And another foul ball. The next 0 2. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Batting ninth, the pitcher number 55. So digging John in now, John Gray. Gray. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner, and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. Two. two things pitchers really love, called strike threes and jamming hitters. How about that? Talk about that jam right there. That's about as good as it gets. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Nine. Jeez, I mean, that Second fastball baseman. was way behind DJ him when the swing well, came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Digging in to try it again, DJ LeMayhew. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Here comes the first pitch. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Now the pitch. That's a ball. And that sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Lee Matt Vaskersian is Ryan Braun Left steps fielder. in to get things started. Ryan Braun. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit hard to third. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. 
Well, you make in-game adjustments, right, Matt? I mean, they've had a hard time scoring. Right here, he jumps on the first pitch Second to get things baseline. going, so I see a little bit of a Turn change. On. Maybe this is how they jumpstart their offense for the rest of the game. Standing in now, Hernan Perez. And she'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Here comes the 1 0. A pretty healthy hack that time. It's 1 and 1. Nobody out, runner on first. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats in left. Here's the one and two. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. That's his second strikeout of the game. I would be Third surprised baseman. if a coach finds him Travis. in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Ready for another chance? Travis Shaw, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Pitch out, nothing doing. Here it comes, 1 and 0. A double play ball to second. Four, six, three on a nice dig at first, and the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Back with more on opening day after this. Striding in once again, Gerardo Parra. He starts off the, the inning the against Rockies. a guy who struck out the, the side last eight. inning. How did they get to him Gerardo here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Now here it comes. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. The wind up and the 0 1. Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. The pitch. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind 1 and 2. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. 1 and 2, here it comes. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Boy, he's really on a roll on the hill right now. As we roll through it again, remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Here's Charlie Blackman now. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. From the windup, the one one pitch. Outside, oh, two and there. one. Backdoor breaking ball is just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time.
And he lays off again, ball three. Well, he falls behind 3-1 right now, but man, he is really throwing the ball well. He's been attacking them all game. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Again, he sends it out of play. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Broxton's under it. Two gone. The batter number Here's Nolan Arenado. Oh for one for Nolan him here in this one. Arenado. Into the windup and the pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Matt, he's really putting on a clinic. The first pitch strike, we talk about it all the time. He's 90% in this game, first pitch strike. When you do that, you're going to have great success. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ballgame, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They still trail one nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number seven. For the he set to lead us fourth. off in the home half First of the fourth baseman. inning. Number seven. Here comes the first pitch. And this one's oh, not Lord, close. Lord. It's in the dirt for ball one. Now the pitch. Two and oh now. hit hard towards center. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. So the fourth inning opens with a leadoff single. Wow, that ball was hit hard on the 2-0 count right there. Even though you find yourself now down 2-0 in the count right. as a pitcher, Hilder. you can't just no lay bingo. one in there. This guy's a professional hitter. Digging in for his second at bat, Domingo Santana. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's set. Here it comes. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through for a base hit. Make him 1 for 2 in this one. Another first pitch hit. Man, they're going up there aggressive, looking for Not that first pitch fastball. Catcher. He's struggling right Even. now, and they are feasting. Oh. Into the box, Stephen Boat as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. I really like how the catcher and the pitcher are reading swings. The pitch before, big power swing. Then they pull the string on him and get him out in front early. He has no idea what's coming now. One run, six hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. And look out as that one ran in and got him. This is a perfect example of why the slider is such a great pitch and Milwaukee. such a dangerous pitch, Center too. Fielder. Sometimes it moves so much that you just Boxster. lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result.
And that'll bring in the speedy Keon Broxton. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Well, he had big aspirations behind that swing. Pretty obvious he was trying to put four runs on the board in a hurry. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Low and away with that one. It's one and two. Well, no surprise on that one. That's the classic slider down the way, trying to get him to chase on that 0 2 pitch. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Yes, he can. A swing and a miss, and that's a big out number one. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. As a good changeup will get him to commit too early, and it's strike one. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0-2. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back -back Ks with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Oh, and two, here it comes. Oh, and confusion as he just looks at a strike. And they'll put the tag on him between third and home. And I don't know what he's thinking, but it's a... Here's Mark Reynolds. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Number 12, Mark High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Now the pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And this is taken in for out number one. Up next for Colorado. A look at our line score right here through the first four. Carlos and as we've mentioned, Gonzalez. just one hit for these guys this afternoon. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball just a bit up. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? And Gonzalez lays off as he goes to two and one now. Now here's the pitch. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Full count, here it comes. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Well, you could tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and okay, try to be aggressive Colorado. off this guy, but he's Short taking stop. full advantage Rubber. of that. He's pounding Short. the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Zero. 
Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Boy, Matt, he's in some kind of groove, and they better get something working because he is one pitch away from throwing five. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Three up, three down for Colorado. They trail this one, one to nothing. Standing in, Lead Jimmy Nelson. He's 0 for 1 Catcher, thus far. Jimmy Nelson. First pitch on its way. And this ball is taken count. outside for ball one. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Zero. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. LeMahieu with a great stop. It's there, and he's out. Big well, league play in the eight. hole right there, Brand. and that's a pretty good Come example on. of why getting hits at this level is so... Here's Ryan Braun now. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. He's one for two in this one. Now the 0-1. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. One out, nobody on. Slider, good two strike pitch, but it misses one and two. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Now another one, two. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Back-to-back -back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all in the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Bouncer down the line. That winds up foul. The payoff pitch one more time. Inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Ready once again, Hernan Perez. He's gone down on strikes twice already in this one. And Dan, when you know you have a chance to hand someone a hat trick for the game, is there any extra motivation to punch him out again? Hey, there's no doubt about that, Matt. When you have a good hitter like this and you've punched him out twice already, you just want to continue to go out there and make good pitches and see if you can't dominate him for a third time. First pitch of the at-bat. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Blackman comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Third baseman. Digging in once again, Travis, Travis Shaw. Oh. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Squared that one up just a little late. Here comes the 0-1, and a pitch takes off inside and gets away.
And a bad time for that as the runner takes second here. When it's raining out there and you're trying to reach back and throw a fastball, it's very easy to lose grip on the baseball. You have to focus that much more and make sure you're keeping the moisture off your fingertips in between pitches. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. The set and the two and one pitch. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Throw won't get him. Two out here and a runner at second. He pulls this one into right. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 2-0 ball game. Two out, two strikes, down to the last strike of the inning. And he's able to hang in now there batting. and drive the ball Number for seven. a base hit. Good job of battling right there. Into the box now, number seven. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. The 0-1 on its way. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Here it comes, 0-2. And, and certainly no offer at that one. It's 1-2. and two. Hey, I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0-2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. A run. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. He'll start things out in their half of the Hitting sixth of the as they look to shake things catcher. up here for a lineup Jonathan that, quite Lucroy. frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through the five innings. I mean, what else can you say about John the pitching they faced Gray. other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Into the windup and the pitch. John Gray stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Well, they're still in this game. You know, if they can get somebody on a broken bat, a blooper, a bunt, and then go for the big ball, they can get something going. But they've got to start with getting somebody on base. This offense needs a base runner and get things happening. Called strike 0 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him oh, now. Man. And I'll tell you, he Second could rack reason. up quite a few more DJ before he's done. Lamedia. Still a lot of game left in this one. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. One for two on his line so far in the game. Here comes the first pitch. And he takes ball one. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. In there, one and one. Two out, nobody on. And here's a ball hit in the air. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot.
hit to short. Arcia fields it cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They trail things here two to nothing. Digging in and looking for Leading more, for Domingo Santana. A right hit fielder, in two tries so Domingo far. Domingo Santana. Action now in that Colorado pen as a southpaw has stood up to throw out there. Yanked on the ground down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Oh, he got out in front of a change. He's looking for a fastball right there because he got the bat head so far out he was able to pull it. If that was a fastball, he might have kept it fair. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Lucroy gathers. The throw to first is in time, one down. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Stepping in now, Steven Vogt. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. One out, nobody on. High in the air out to center field. Blackman is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Keon Broxton. One for two with a double on his line thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Way in front of a great slider that time. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and there's one well above the zone for a ball. Here it comes on one and one. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. A fastball yep. down near the shoe tops. And obviously, this guy's a double threat up there. He can run, and he can go yard, too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. To short. Backhanded. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. They certainly know how to have a good time in Milwaukee, and I believe this may just be a brand-new type of polka. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we'll have it for you next on MLB Network. Back here at Miller Park in Milwaukee. We're on to the seventh now with the Brewers out on top. If you're joining us late, good time to get caught up as there's our game summary to this point. In is Gerardo Parra. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. Here's Charlie Blackman now. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 
And a sinking fastball that stayed a little high, apparently. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. That misses 2-0. and oh. Bases are empty, one man out. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. The batter, number 28, third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Here's Nolan Arenado. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Number seven is there to make the catch and the side is retired. Ladies three up, three down for Colorado. The they trail it here two to nothing. Carlos Estevez is out from now the bullpen now the as he'll get the call here on Number opening 54. day. Carlos. Ready once again, Orlando Leading Arcia. He singled in two trips the to the plate thus far. Orlando Arcia. <laughs> first pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. That's a and that misses 1 and 1. You one know he wants three. that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1 and 1. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it no wasn't better. outrageous. Hey, hey listen, calling Jimmy. balls and strikes is a really Nelson. tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Digging in once again, Jimmy Nelson. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned the chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. Takes this the other way to right, and the pitcher's got himself a base hit. The throw into second. And he'll reach second now with one away. When you're leading by one run, you want to do everything you can to add to the lead and give your bullpen a little breathing room. It makes a big difference, so double here goes a long way towards making that a real possibility. In now, Ryan Braun. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Here's the 0-1. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. 
clearly wasn't ready for the fastball because it was pretty much center cut and he couldn't pull the trigger. Might have been looking for another curve. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. One out and a runner on second base. Well hit to right. But that's a foul ball. Another 0-2 coming. Another one sent foul. Fly ball out toward left center field. Blackman's after it. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And the tag's there. He's out at third base. It's a double play, and just like that, the inning is over. One hit's all they get. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Brewers lead this one two to nothing. Ready for another chance? Mark Reynolds. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First baseman, number 12, Mark Reynolds. Into the windup and the pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Wow, I think the heart of this system is right on top of us because it is really coming down out there. Sends it in the air to deep left field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here for Mark Reynolds. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Rockies have made this a two to one ball game. Well, he's what's known as a feast or famine type hitter. Striking out a lot, but with enough power to go yard now, at any time. Right, but guess what? Dinner is served because he just down. launched that one. Broxton has it in his tracks. Makes the play one away. Rymel Tapia will pinch hit here, and he's the potential Colorado. tying run. Number 68, Rymel Tapia. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. In there, strike one. One run in and one gone so far this inning. And he lays off for ball one. One out, nobody on. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. Grounded to first. Reined in. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting. Catcher. Jonathan. David Dahl will come on now as the pinch hitter. Colorado. Number 26. David Dahl. Looks at a sinker on the outside corner. The wind up and the 0 1. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Well, he gave up that leadoff home run, and I thought, uh oh, he's in trouble, but he's done a nice job bouncing back. Got two quick outs, and now he's got two strikes on this hitter. He's got a chance to get out of this unscathed the rest of the way. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. But the Rocks draw a bit closer thanks to the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the Brewers two and the Rockies one. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Mike Dunn will come on now, and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. 
Number Ian Desmond is into the ball game as well done. as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now, now ninth on the double spot. switch number 20 Ian Desmond Hernan Perez is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Ball one. Ball one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first down. Third baseman, Travis. And that Shaw. brings up the left handed hitting Travis Shaw. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. A fastball that finds the outside corner. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Fastball that time is nowhere close and it's even at one and one. Here's the pitch. Slider stayed too low. Ball two. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. And a neck high fastball that time. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Our pitcher's duel continues here. 2 to 1 score as we play the eighth. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Blackman going back at the track. The wall. A leap at the wall, but forget it. It's gone. A home run. So a solo shot here to left center field. First home run of the campaign for him. And it gives the Brewers a 3-1 to one lead. You know one thing with this homer it might make the decision to send a starter back out there a little easier for the manager you've got some wiggle room now and he's been pitching well so I expect they'll be having that conversation in the dugout you know he wants to go back out there the batter number seven standing in now number seven as ball he'll take a look at ball one he's two for three and looking for more here Here comes the 1-0. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Para is after it. Two down. Now batting. Ready for right another fielder. shot now. Domingo, Domingo Santana is working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And they'll start him with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. One and oh. And that one stayed too low apparently. Here it comes, 2-0. and oh. mm, Pretty good cut there, but it's to 2-1 and one now. Bases are empty here with two men out. This one's down to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. But the Brewers get a run, and it comes here on the long ball. Last chance coming up for the Rockies. It's now 3-1 to one, Milwaukee.
Corey Knable comes on from the pen, now, hoping to finish Brewers, this one off here in the top 46, of the ninth. Corey Knable. Here's the shortstop, Ian Desmond. He'll try and lead things Rockies. off here in inning number Go nine. Ian Desmond. And we kick Ian off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Ready with the 0-2. That misses one and two. Decided to go with a fastball there on 0 and 2, but what he's trying to do with that pitch is to expand the strike zone. Maybe you get a guy to offer at it, but at the very least, it helps set up your off speed stuff. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. When your closer comes in and strikes out the first guy he faces, no matter, nine, everyone on the team can kind of take a deep DJ breath. Still have two more outs here. to get. But retiring that leadoff guy is always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. DJ LeMayhew comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Here's one that misses high, it's 1 and 1. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off into the seats behind first. A ball and two strikes, here's the pitch. Tries to dump this one out to left. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So he gets the bloop base hit to bring the tie and run to the plate. You know, they talk about a bloop and a blast. Maybe we'll get the blast and they can tie it up here in the ninth. In is Gerardo Parra. And here's a ball hit in the air. Arcia onto the grass. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Riding in once again, Charlie Blackman. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Swing and a line drive, but foul. A runner on first with two away. Foul back. 41,900 strong on their feet here at Miller Park. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Back goes Braun. That one is out of here. This game is tied. And some guys just have a knack for the dramatic. He comes up in a big spot and just cranks one out of here to even the score. Not a bad time to hit your first homer of the year, huh? Here's Nolan Arenado. Third baseman. As the Nolan first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he misses low with it 2 and 0. Now ball 2. Back to back breaking pitches. I think if right now you really have to try to get the best pitch you can get in the zone. You have to throw it right here. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw in the dirt but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. But the Rockies push across two, both coming on this two-run home run. Home half of the ninth is straight ahead. We're tied now at three apiece. Adam Ottavino comes on to work on now the mound, hoping to Colorado. send this one into extra Number innings. Zero. Adam Ottavino. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts Leading to get up, loose out the there. Here in the bottom of the ninth. Catcher, number 12. Steven Vogt is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Oh, it looks like he's trying to play hero right there, trying to play hero. One big swing, and he wanted to end it. 
Here's the 0 1 pitch. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now batting, center fielder, Keon Broxton. And that'll bring in the speedy Keon Broxton. His head to head numbers against Adam Ottavino. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two seamer to right handed hitters to try to jam the guy or even make some firewood. He got it in there, but that was a good take to lay off and take the ball. The set and the 1 0 pitch. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Looked like he was on that one, but it's 1 and 2. One out, nobody on. Skied into straightaway right. Gonzalez on the run. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Now batting. Digging in to try it again. Orlando, Orlando Arcia. Arcia. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Sharp slider that time. Just missed inside. Two out. Nobody on. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Push to the right side. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And a great job to stick with it as he's able to make the play for the third out. Gone in order of the Brewers. Score remains tied at 3-3. Three to three. Here's Mark Reynolds. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. The first baseman, number 12, Mark Reno. First offering on its way. Takes a knee-high fastball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. 1-1. One one. One one. Matt Garza is out from the now bullpen now the as he'll get the call here on opening 22. day. Matt Garza. Here it comes on one and one. Hit in the air to right field. 
Santana moving to his left looks it into his glove and there's one gone. The right fielder number five. Here's cargo Carlos, Carlos Gonzalez. Gonzalez. His head to head line against Garza four hits in 17 at bats. He's also hit three home runs. Now. Here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. That's, oh, that's inside. It. Two and oh. On the ground up the middle. Arcia has it. On to first, and it's a good start to the inning for Garza. Two away. Now batting the pitcher, Adam Jordan Garrett Patterson. Patterson. We'll grab ben a bat and hit for, for the Colorado, pitcher here. Number 65, Jordan Patterson. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here, 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. Line toward center field. Broxton will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Still tied three to three. Your Jake McGee please. comes on to start now the home 10th Colorado. and he's just hoping to get Number this 51. one into the 11th inning. Jake McGee. Stepping into the box, Matt Garza. Pitcher, Matt Garza. The fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Whoa, he tried to end it right there. One big swing here in this extra inning game. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. The pitch that's popped up now towards short right field. Gonzalez moving to his left, and that's the first out of the inning. Well, left fielder number eight. Ryan Stepping in, Braun. Ryan Braun. He was a double play victim last time around. He's set and the pitch and this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. You know something to keep in mind they're really burning through that bullpen and this is only the first game of the series definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead. Swung on and missed on a pitch at the thumbs a ball and a strike. Now that's a nice pitch he ran that in there about mid 90s and put it past him. And Braun's able to resist. The count moves in his favor. Two and one now. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch. So he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Blackman is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. The batter number 14. Stepping up now, Hernan Perez. Hernan looking to change his Perez. fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. Oh. 
And a curveball that time that broke too low. I like that backdoor breaking ball right there. Oh, one, show him something on the outside half. He swings, he's probably going to roll over it. If not, you might get the call. You didn't get it there, but I like the selection. Bases are empty here with two men out. Close pitch, but just a bit outside. He wanted it, but it's two and one. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Grounded back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. So a nice job there by the two hole hitter to extend the inning for the middle of the order. Now two outs in the bottom Third, of the eight inning eight right here. Now Rabbit. it looks like they're in a position to maybe win this game. He represents the winning run. Let's see if they can get him home. Into the box. Travis Shaw and a pitch out nothing doing though and that's ball one the 1 0 takes a look at one catching the outside corner that's so difficult to hit hard fastball and a nasty curveball. You just have to sit on one or the other and hope he throws the one you're looking for. A good action on the two seamer there and it's one and two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Yeah and they set him up with that curveball on the pitch before and that one they. just blew right by him and they could go either way now I suppose now the one and two pitch here's a fastball in on the fist and that'll even things up at two and two well two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to possible winning run stands at first with two out here and he strikes him out to retire the side so we'll play at least one more Brewer strand one no change in the score it's three to three at the plate Ryan Hannigan is head to head line against Garza he's gone two for five Hannigan into the windup and the pitch fly ball out to straightaway right Santana has it in his tracks he's got it one away now batting shortstop Ian Desmond stepping in and ready for another shot Ian Desmond comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game ready with the first pitch here it comes and a fastball misses here to start the at bat it's 1 and 0 1 and 0 pitch on the way 1 0 pitches a slider swung on and missed 1 and 1. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And a good take there. Close, but it's 2 and 2. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Well he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early timing not quite there had a fastball to pitch before he just got out in front of that breaking ball shoots this one over to first and a step on first himself for the out. Now batting second baseman D.J. LeMayhew. Here's the second baseman D.J. LeMayhew. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Curve ball stays a little high that time. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. 
Broxton moves over. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Colorado. Score remains tied at three to three. Digging in to try it again, number seven, Brewers. as he set to get First the bottom of the 11th started. First pitch of the at-bat, and a neck-high fastball that time. Here comes the 1-0, and there's one well above the zone for a ball. Two and zero. Oh, here it is, right on the corner. A fastball that he takes for a strike. Two balls and a strike. Here it is, swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Para a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Right fielder. Ready for another chance. Santana. Domingo Santana. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. One out, nobody on. Hard hit to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting, catcher, Stephen Vogt. Ready once again, Stephen Vogt. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the first pitch to him. And that one swung on and missed 0-1. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat, but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play. Time to use that aggressiveness and make him chase now. A pause, and the 0-2. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. Still tied 3-3. Digging in now, Gerardo Parra, his head-to-head -head line Hello, against Garza, seven hits Gerardo in 18 at-bats. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Here's Charlie Blackman now. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Slider up that he gets a call on. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. That was a curveball that never really broke, stayed high. Definitely not what you're trying to do here, 0-2 with a curveball. You see a lot of guys elevate a fastball like that in this situation, but a curve like that is just asking to get punished. 
Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Wow, we've seen some really impressive pitching in this one. You could say these lineups have been anemic, but I always like to give credit to pitching and defense, and they've been fantastic all game long. Here's Nolan Arenado, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Well, he got that first pitch, got him looking right there. With a star hitter like this guy, it is always good to get ahead in the count. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Ball hit high to the right side. But this will get into the seats foul. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. One, two, three, go the Rockies. No change in the score. It's three to three. Nisha will be summoned here to now start the home 12 and the best case scenario Number for him is to take us to the 13th. Nisha. Striding in, Keon Broxton. He flew out in his last at bat. A knee high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. Wind up and the 0 1. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. Orlando Arcia. Boy, not even close with that one, and he's behind 0-1. <laughs> I'll tell you, if I'm on the hill, I'm throwing that changeup again. Didn't look like he picked it up very well out of his hand. Well, I had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. Well, now he's 0-2 after that off-balance swing. And, and sitting on the on-deck circle, there's no way he was thinking about, this would be my approach. Let me swing and fall down. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. No problems for him now on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. Matt That's back-to-back -back Ks, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Digging in for his second at-bat, Matt Garza. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. The 0 1 on its way. And that slider is almost in the dirt. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a changeup over the outside corner. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And it's to 2 and 2 now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Gone in order of the Brewers. Score remains tied at three to three. Jared Hughes 
Takes the now hill now to begin the, the lucky 13th inning. Jared Hughes. Here's Mark Reynolds, his career line against Jared Hughes. An impressive four for seven. He also has one home run. In there, no balls and a strike. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will get foul for strike two. Here's the 0-2. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump well, ahead in the count 0 2 five. and then start working Carlos outside the zone. Dallas. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. Here's cargo Carlos Gonzalez. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Here's the 0 1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Bases are empty. One man out. And Gonzalez lays off as he goes to two and one now. And it misses three and one now. Well, this has been a good job to work the count from 0 and 1 to 3 and 1. And now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. The pitcher number 37. The pitcher, Pat Nishak, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. But a strong throw gets him at second, so the sacrifice does not pay off here. Now batting. Catherine. Digging in, Ryan Hennigan, Hennigan. His career line against Jared Hughes. He's hitless in six tries. The 0-1. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Now the 0-2 pitch. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here. Ready for another shot now. Ryan Braun. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. First pitch is a slider down low. It's 1-0. Braun awaiting the 1 0. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. That's the third slider in a row. And I'm going to tell you what, I think he'll probably throw four and maybe five if he needs it. On Braun can't come up with that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Digging in and looking for more, Hernan Perez. Last time through was a base hit. So a rather weak start to the at-bat as he misses badly there. It's 0-1. Now here's the pitch. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hole, 0-2. That pitch was so slow it barely registered on the radar gun. Yeah, Matt, we don't see too many pitches crawling to the plate like that, especially these days. That can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on. Well, there's that classic strikeout pitch that changed up down just to get him to go after it. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. 
He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound walking. right now. That's five straight punch outs. I love it. But I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. Chop foul over towards the dugout. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt, I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Number seven would be next. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Hit hard to short. There is Desmond. Throw on to first is going to be in time, and that means 13 innings won't even settle this one as that ends the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Hang with us, folks. We'll keep going until we get a winner, and we are all tied at three. Here's the shortstop, Ian Desmond. He's Hitting 0 for, for 2 thus far in this one. Ian. And a fastball is in there for strike one. And a good job to lay off the fastball there close, but it's one and one. The one one pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. We are watching him reach back and just challenge it with the fastball. Now we got a one two count, and that's three fastballs in a row. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And a fastball just a bit high. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. The batter, number nine, second baseman. Striding DJ in once again, DJ LeMayhew. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A changeup over the inside corner. The 0 1. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Liner towards second. In time to first and there are two away. The left fielder number eight. Gerardo Parra. In is Gerardo Parra. His career line against Jared Hughes. 0 for 7. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Tough pitch to lay off. The slider stays high for ball one. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball's coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Colorado. Still tied three to three. Now at the plate, number seven. And he'll lead things off as they'll try to walk Curry's off baseline. winners in the bottom number half. Seven. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Hit hard back up the middle. On to first is Desmond, and that's in time for the first out. 
Right fielder number 16. Boy, he really had to go a long way to his left to get to that one, as is evidenced by Showtrack. Good first step and a great throw to get it there in time. Definitely took away what looked to be a hit off the bat. Into the box now, Domingo Santana. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. And looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Hard hit ball to second. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Now batting, catcher, Stephen Vogt. Coming to the plate now, Stephen Vogt. Looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Sinker runs outside to start the at bat. 1 and 0. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Here's the one and one delivery. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Para on the move, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. No change in the score. It's three to three. Digging in once again, Charlie Blackman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Oh, one pitch on its way. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called the strike anyway. Nothing in two now. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Charlie Blackman becomes the first out of the inning. In now, Nolan Arenado. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Attempting to, as they say, get off the schneid here. 0 for 5 so far. This ball will be chopped foul. Looking to put him away, here's the 0-2. And it looked like he went out of the zone that time as this is skied toward the right side of the infield. And this is taken in for the second out. The first baseman, number 12, Mark Reynolds. Into the box, Mark Reynolds. And looking to improve on a one-for-five effort so far. He comes set. Here's the nothing-and-nothing nothing pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. One and oh pitch on the way. Fouled back. Two out, nobody on. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Ready on one and two. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Score remains tied at three to three. Number 56 is on, and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number 56. And that'll bring in the speedy Keon Broxton. He went down on strikes last time up. Center fielder, Keon. Rockstar. 
And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Lifted in the air out to right. Gonzalez has a read on it. He's got it one away. Now batting, shortstop, Orlando Arcia. So striding in, Orlando Arcia. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First delivery to him on the way. And he lays off there 1-0. stayed up a little high one out nobody on mm, pretty good cut there but it's to two and one now ready with two balls and a strike way in front of a great slider that time Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in is Blackman. And that's the second out of the inning. Up next for Milwaukee. Catcher, Sharon Hughes. Standing in now, the pitcher, Jared Hughes. So with two away, they decide to let him hit instead of burning a pinch hitter. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. In my opinion, there is no one in this bullpen that relishes a moment like this on the mound other than this guy. It looks like he feeds off the challenge of pitching in tight games. Here's the 0-1 pitch. And a neck-high fastball that time. Faces are empty here with two men out. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right. Gonzalez is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. Nothing across here this half. Hang in as long as you can. Another inning coming up, and we are all tied at three apiece. Digging in to try it again. Carlos Gonzalez, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Ball hit Carlos high and foul down, down the left field line. It's strike one. The 0 and 1 delivery. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Two quick strikes, and now the 0 2. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. In there at the knees, 0 and 2 now. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. Bases are empty, one man out. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Here's the one and two delivery. Misses, ball two. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. 
ready for another chance. Ryan Hennigan, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Two out, nobody on. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Santana is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Three up, three down for Colorado. Still tied. Three. Here's Ryan Braun now. And he'll lead things off as they'll try to walk off winners in the bottom half. Ryan Braun. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0-1. Did you see that swing? He threw it right by him. I tell you what, this is the alpha male battle. I wouldn't be surprised to see another fastball right here. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Gloved by LeMayhew. Throw on to first in time, one away. The batter number 14. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Hernan Perez. Comes into this appearance one for six on the ball game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A slider that he looks at over the outside corner. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Blackman is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting, third baseman. And that brings Travis. up the left handed hitting oh. Travis Shaw. He was a ground out victim last time up. Swung right over the splitter there, 0 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here it comes, 0 and 2. Off the plate at 94, 1 and 2. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Hang with us, folks. We'll keep going until we get a winner. And we are all tied at three apiece. Here's the shortstop, Ian Desmond. Well, the reliever remains in the game here, the having pitched very well, but this is a longer outing Ian than what he's Desmond. used to. It is, Matt, and I really tip my cap to him for gutting this thing out right now. On the other side, I worry they're being a little bit too greedy by leaving him out there. There are options left in the pen, and it would be a shame if all his hard work got undone because he started making some mistakes in location due to fatigue. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Didn't mess around much in that at-bat, Dan. No, that was pretty Second impressive, baseball. Matt. I really like a pitcher DJ that trusts Lemayhew. and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters, and go grab some bench. Your Anthony Swarzak. Late. Will likely be the last the to join this ball Number game as he'll take the ball in the 17th Anthony. inning. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. Oh. Two hits in six tries for him thus far. Grounded foul off to the right. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. The left fielder, number eight, Gerardo Parra. In is Gerardo Parra, still looking for his first hit here. He's 0 for 6. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0-1.
The 0-1 delivery. Zero. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. That right there, Matt, may be the best pitch in baseball. I don't know why people don't throw that high fastball more. It is so difficult for a hitter to raise your hands up and try to get on top of that ball. And before you do all that, it's by you. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. And he strikes him out here for route number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. One, two, three, go the Rockies. No change in the score. It's three to three. Digging in once again, number seven. He was Bruins. retired via the ground ball Earth last Aitman. time up. Number seven. Ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. You know, pitching isn't always about throwing strikes. Sometimes you just need to make sure your opponent isn't too comfortable up there. And that's just what he did right there. Busted him inside with good hard stuff. And that misses as well. 3-0. and oh. Domingo Santana waits on deck. Got to find the strike zone. Here's the 3 0. -oh. Way out in front. He's set. Here's the 3 1. Tough slider down low for a strike. Swing and a liner. Foul. Another full count pitch home. Swing and a liner. But this will be foul. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Now batting. Right fielder. Ready for Domingo another shot now. Santana. Domingo Santana he comes into this appearance one for six on the ball game. Zero. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Now the pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them, and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. And that'll find its way into right field for a one-out single. Well, they got a little something started now. Okay. One out, a little one-out rally. Got a chance to win the game. You got the winning runner on base now. Stepping in now. Stephen Vogt pitch inside the throw poor base running there got him caught the hot box between first and second and they'll tag him out in the rundown ready with the 1-0 pitch this is on the ground over to first 
And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Brewers go down quietly. Score remains tied. Ready once again, Charlie Blackman. And if you remember, he hit a big home run back in the ninth. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. and And the pitch. In the air, down the left field line and deep. Braun on the run. One out. The batter, number 20. Here's Nolan Arenado. His line, Nolan not pretty. Arenado. 0 for 6 in the game. Into the windup and the pitch. And he'll lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Good late break to the slider. 87 on the gun there. It's one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. I had him lunging there as he's just able to tap it foul at home plate. Another one two delivery. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a little tapper, but that one rolls foul. Here he comes again, one two. Lays off, two and two now. This guy's a good hitter. He's seen a lot of pitches already, fouling balls off. But as the pitcher, I got to keep throwing him strikes. And if he hits it, hopefully it's at somebody. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. The Boy, there's baseman, nothing better from a pitcher standpoint Mark than watching that high Leno. fastball, a high piece of cheese, swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Here's Mark Reynolds. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. He smacked a homer back in the eighth in this one. A one pitch on its way. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Two out, nobody on. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Three. Chris Russon is out from the bullpen now, now as he'll the get Rockies. the call here on opening day. Chris Stepping in, Russell. Keon Broxton. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Line towards center field. Blackman is right there, one down. Jumped all oh, over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss Orlando. it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Into the windup and the pitch. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Outside for a ball, one and one. One and one, here it comes. And they'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Now here it comes. Hit in the air out to center field. Blackman is under it, and that's the second out of the inning. The pitcher number 37, Anthony. Standing in Swarzak. now, the pitcher, Anthony Swarzak. So with two away, they decide to let him hit instead of burning a pinch hitter. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Arenado fields it cleanly. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. Hang in as long as you can. Another inning coming up, and we are all tied at three apiece. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez, trying to avoid the dreaded hat trick here. He's 0 for 5 all told. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Now here's the pitch. 
Lays off the fastball away, and it's 2 0. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Swing and a line drive, but foul. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. A swinging bunt to the mound. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. The pitcher, number 52, Chris Russell. Stepping in, Chris Russon. And with absolutely no bullpen arms left, this is going to be their guy until the game is over or until they decide to roll some position players out there on the mound. Obviously, this is never a position you want to find yourself in as a manager, Matt, but it does happen from time to time, and maybe I should start getting that old shoulder loosened up. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Line toward the gap in left center. And he will make the play out there. And there are two away now. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Into the box, Ryan Hennigan. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. The windup and the 0-1. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Broxton is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. 1-2-3 go the Rockies. No change in the score. It's 3-3. Three three. Striding in once again, Ryan Braun. And he'll lead things off as they'll try to walk off winners in the bottom half. And this is cut on and missed below the knees, and it's 0-1. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. On Braun can't come up with that one as he swings and misses for the first out. At the plate, Hernan Perez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Hernan Perez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line drive to center field. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. You talk about a free swinger. First pitch, and he hits a ball that's down and away and gets a base hit. Man, that's not what I'm looking for first pitch, but I got to tip my cap to him. He executed it. Standing in now, Travis Shaw. Runners off for second. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. It bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. Bases are empty here with two men out. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. And he strikes him out to retire the side. So we'll play at least one more. None left for Milwaukee. Score remains tied at three. Carlos Torres please. is out from now the bullpen the now as he'll get the call here Number on opening 59. day. Carlos Torres. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. A swing and a miss at the big curveball. Boy, he is not seeing the ball at all. He's already got three strikeouts. If he strikes out here, that's when you start calling the eye doctor. Lifted in the air out to left. And this is taken out there by Braun for the first out. 
The batter, number nine. Digging Second in, baseman, DJ LeMayhew. He got LeMahieu. under one and popped out his last time up. Fouled back. One out, nobody on. Mine to the right side. And he'll reach down to make the catch as he takes that one right off his shoe tops for the Number second two, out. Number eight, Gerardo Parra. First offering on its way. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Two out, nobody on. Her ball close, but it's one and one. Hit out towards second. Perez has it. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the end. Standing in, number seven. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Into the windup and the pitch. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. The windup and the 0 1. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Right fielder number 16, Domingo Santos. Digging in and looking for more, Domingo Santana. He singled his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. Now the 0-1. And he misses with it 1-1. One and one. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Hannigan goes to get it, but it's not in time, and he'll reach first despite going down on strikes. So good awareness that time as that'll go as a strikeout, but he's aboard on the drop third strike. Digging in, Stephen Vogt looking to finally get into the hit column here. No luck in six tries so far. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. Para on the move. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Center fielder. And that'll bring in the speedy Keon Broxton. 
He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1-0. On the corner away, a ball and a strike. The one and one pitch. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Milwaukee leaves one, still tied 3-3. Three three. Here's Charlie Blackman now. And if you remember, he hit a big home run back in the ninth. Center fielder, Charlie and that's in there for strike one. A one pitch on its way. Swings through it for strike number two. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Another 0-2 home. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. And now a pitch on the way to two balls and two strikes now. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Another 2-2 two -two offering, and he'll strike out here yet again as it's been a ball game to forget thus far four strikeouts the batter, here's Nolan Arenado his career line against Nolan Carlos Torres Arenado. one for three hit on the ground out to short scooped up on the backhand throw gets him two down the first baseman number five Mark ready for Reynolds. another chance Mark Reynolds he smacked a homer back in the eighth in this one. Good breaking ball there. Had him frozen. Strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. The 0-2 once more. Curveball that time, not even close. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. And he strikes out again. And that's the fifth time he's punched out today. This is certainly not. Three up, three down for Colorado. No change in the Leading score. It's the three to three. The shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Here comes the first pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So the Brewers get their leadoff man aboard to start out the frame going to be interesting to see how they play this deep into extra innings and now they've got the winning run on old school would probably bunt and move them into scoring position but that's not an automatic decision these days we'll see what they do in now Carlos Torres as he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one The 1-0 runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. Now he finds himself down 2-0. It looks like he's just distracted. This is the advantage of having a guy on first base who can run. Now the 2-0. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Throw is going to go on to first, so a perfect sacrifice there is now the go-ahead run moves into scoring position here. 
Well, left fielder number eight. Runner at second, one away, and that'll bring forth the great slugging left fielder Ryan Braun. Very weakly on the ground. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. The batter number 14. Digging in to try it again. Hernan Perez. Here's the first pitch in the air out to right. Gonzalez has a read on it, and that ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Hang with us, folks. We'll keep going till we get a winner, and we are all tied at three apiece. Ready once again, Leading Carlos Gonzalez. Still right looking for his first five. hit here. He's 0 for Carlos 6. Gonzalez. Into the windup and the pitch. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. Action now in the Milwaukee bullpen as they'll have a right-hander loosen up. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw to first is in time for the first down. The pitcher, number 52, Chris Russell. Riding in once again, Chris Russon. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And a ball 1 and 0. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. And the pitch. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Here's the one and two delivery. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Up next for Colorado, catcher. Ryan Digging in once again, Hennigan. Ryan Hennigan. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. In comes Broxton. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Score remains tied. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Swing and a miss on the sinker, 0-1. The 0-1 pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen. Are you kidding me? Nobody goes five innings anymore. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Hard sinker misses two and two. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number seven. He went down on strikes last time up. Ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. And that changeup makes him jump a swing and a miss.
from the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a bunt attempt here, but a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Q shot here out towards short. On to first, and there were two down. Now batting, right fielder, Domingo Santana. Now batting, Domingo Santana. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Arenado comes up with it. Throw to first in time, and you got to question that decision as this side. Here's the shortstop, Ian Desmond. He could Ian use a hit Colorado. here. 0 for 5 with Short three stop. strikeouts. Ian. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. O one 1 count, here's the pitch. And this is chopped foul at the plate. He's in the hole now, down 0 and 2. This is on the ground over to first. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. And he's going to make it up to second base safely as he's in there. My word. The batter, number nine. Ready second for another point. shot now. D.J. LeMahieu oh, hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. So digging in now, Gerardo Parra. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And this is fouled back and out of play. The 0-1. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Well, this is one of those situations. You don't want him to put a ball in the air. You got to pitch the strikeout right here and get you out of this inning. Don't let him put the ball in play. Garcia gloves it. Throw on to first for the second out. But meanwhile, that all-important go-ahead run is in to score. Charlie Blackman will stand in yet again. And as he does, we flash you back to inning number nine as this was the big blow. A two-run shot that helped get us to this point here in the extra frames. Up top, it's 2-0. Two, oh. two out, nobody on. Two-0 oh curveball here is over for a strike. That's evidence of a pitcher and catcher being totally in sync out there. That tells me they both know that's a good pitch for him right now. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3-1. and one. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Right side hit hard. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Hey, sometimes you got to just get lucky. He got out in front, hooked it, and it just found a hole. Third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Standing in, Nolan Arenado. He was a ground out victim last time up. Ball chopped foul right at home plate, and it's 0-1. 0-1 count. Here's the pitch. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Two out with the man at first. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Working for the punch out and the offering turned on down the line and a reach with the backhand but he comes up empty as that gets by him Blackman rounds the corner and is headed home and he is going to beat the throw home as he scores to make this a 5-3 game now. Well that base hit right there gives him two run cushion when you have a two run cushion late in the game you got to feel pretty good about yourself. Here's Mark Reynolds. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Here's the 0 1 pitch. A shot down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Well, I think the he right made the pitch he wanted five. to make. It was down, but hey, unfortunately, Gonzalez. it found the hole and got through the infield. 
Here's cargo Carlos Gonzalez as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Runners on first and third two away. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Working to keep them in the game here. And he strikes him out here for out number three, but the damage has been done as now they'll need some extra. Digging in, Stephen Vogt. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Stephen Vogt. Dribbled to the right side. And a good throw gets him one gone. Now batting. Now with the plate, Keon Broxton. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Into the windup and the pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and there's ball one. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 two -two pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Hard hit ball to second. LeMayhew's got it. Throw in time at first for out number two. The batter number three, shortstop, Orlando. Striding Arcia. in, Orlando Arcia. It was a single for him in his last at bat. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1. Line drive to left. But this is taken in as a perfect metaphor to end this one as that ball was hit hard, but the ball game is over. Wh what? What time is it? Uh, where am I? Oh, man, it's over? Man, I thought this game was never going to end, but it did. And anytime you can win a marathon game like that, it feels awfully good.